Okay, now we're going to start putting together our eBay. Um, first, let's take um, a screw eye and put it on the outside. And the outside is, it's going to be like that. Uh, so then take a, a washer and a bolt. And you can see I have gloves on because epoxy. There's one. And you kind of want them to go um, up because there's going to be two bolts here. So that gives you a little bit more room when you're putting things together. And you see I've mixed up some epoxy. And there's one more that we need to do. Uh, this is the one, one bulkhead that goes into the base of the nose cone. And since I have epoxy mixed up, I might as well go ahead and epoxy that one up too. So take a little bit of epoxy clay and just smash it into those threads. I've already gone ahead and mixed it up. So that's why you didn't see me mixing it. And then do the same on, on these two. And this kind of makes it semi-permanent. Well, maybe, maybe really permanent. This uh, eye bolt is never coming out again. We don't want it to, so. Okay, so now we're going to kind of test fit things together. This here um, is the, the eBay sled. And it's, it's not glued up yet, but basically it's going to be glued up. These two pieces are going to go on the bottom. And then this right here is a a stop for the battery so you'll you'll put your battery right here and that allows you to so it doesn't shift around on you but for right now we don't need that so once this is glued up and you can use uh, wood glue for this or epoxy but I'm just test fitting right now so that's gonna go on the end like this two of those are gonna go through We just want to make sure that our our holes are wide enough apart. So that's why I'm using these as kind of spacers. And so if our, our holes are in the right spot, we should be able to put this on here. And it should center itself up really nice. Success. So that means that means our holes are in the right spot, which is good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, next I'll go ahead and start gluing that up. But in the meantime, since I still have some epoxy clay left, this uh, bulkhead here um, it slides way too far inside the nose cone. 
Um, so what I need to do is to build up a little shelf here on the back end. And I'm just going to use some epoxy clay for that. Take this, slide it in there, and kind of press it in there really nice and tight. Okay. I'm going to borrow this as a stand. Oops, not tall enough. We'll use this one as a stand. Now, what I want to do is mix up some liquid epoxy and then I want to fill it around the edge and that's going to lock that bulkhead in, in place. Now this rocket doesn't need nose, nose weight for the typical 54 millimeters, but you always want to check um, on the rock sim file if you're going to need nose weight for whatever motor you're going to be flying. And if you're going to need nose weight, now's the time to go ahead and put it inside the, inside the front end. Go ahead and just smooth it out real quick. And then I'll just let it stand so it can settle out for itself. And then we'll pause here and continue in a little bit.